I got in and um, I got stopped out with that little, uh, that push. And then it ran up, like, what the fuck, man? You know, you know what my entry was? <laughs> Where was your entry? Like, dude, like, so that, that wick down got me out. Like, that's, that's what pissed me off. So I was in that 80. I think I had my stop underneath oh. that candle. Yeah, because I was in that 80 because uh, I saw a, a stop right there. So I was in that 80. I was like, yeah, I'm good. Put my stop underneath that candle. That shit stopped me out and ran. Yo. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Ugh, that pissed me off, man. And I couldn't, man. This is the ES, so I couldn't chase it. I couldn't chase it. And I was like, fuck. So, yeah, your boy got a revenge yeah. trade the entire day. Because I felt cheated. <laughs> I was in at the bottom. Well, I was in at 180, but it touched 171. Shit. Oh. I didn't think PPI was going to do that, actually. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was going to get like a stop run that damn bad. I know it was going to be a stop run, but not that bad. And you know, I was kind of heavy, so I couldn't risk no damn 11 points. <laughs> yeah. So, and then when it ran, I was like, dude, that's not even fair. Like, don't let nobody tell you that the ES ain't toxic, because that was not fair, dude. <laughs> that was not fair. That was not fair, dude. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> that was not fair. <laughs> I ain't deserve that. I ain't deserve that. <laughs> Not this early in the morning. I deserve that, man. It's not fair. <laughs> that's what I was saying. It's like, yo, I was like, yo, that's not even fair. The NQ has never did that to me. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure she has, but yo, that yeah, that was dirty, yo. Oh, man, I was dirty. Yeah, I was dirty, man. Dirty. All right, man. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah this is profit taking. I, I wouldn't. I think this. Well, all right. Let me look at the the NQ real quick, and then I'll talk about the ES. Yeah, this is obviously profit taking. This is possibly get to 190. One, yeah, 200, 190, 200, 190. I wouldn't take it past that, honestly. Yeah. And for the ES traders, I think we get down to 205, 204, 205-ish. But, 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 I want to make sure this is, yeah, you can get down to like the 205-ish or something like that, man. Hmm. Fucking ES. Yeah. I don't think like we we ain't dropping, man. I was thinking last night. So I, uh, during the last night's NA meeting, I was talking about. Um, I was like, there's too many people short now. And if everybody's short, then this is gonna go long. What's up, uh, Austin? And I was looking for support to support my bias, and I was like, man, this just gonna bounce it. That's why I have my limits set there, and that's why. I was kind of angry about that because I had my limit sitting at this level all night. I had it sitting at 180 all night because I was like, I don't think it's going to touch that low, but we can possibly touch 180. So I had that shit sitting there all damn night, man, since last night. And then when it touched it, I was like, yeah, I'm in this shit. This shit about the pump. And then I get stopped out at the news and then the shit ran. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> so you know I got a revenge trade, man. The entire day. I missed this entire easy. So if I was in that 180 and I didn't get stopped out, man, this was like what 20, almost a 40 point move that I'm I got stopped out on, man. <sighs> yeah. I know. And I couldn't even like it, it whipped up so fast I couldn't even fall them back into this shit, man. <clears throat> yeah. Well, good news yeah. is my five. Mm -hmm. All, right, let's see. This is good. All right, let's see if I can get them. 
Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get it. So I lost $80 so far on these. Lost $80 so far. Let's see if SPY can keep pumping up. But I think my uh my one days might hit. Cause I think we can I think we can touch 120 today. I'm thinking we can. I'm thinking we can touch 120. But uh. Or so Ivan says that NQ making lower lows since April 4th. No, this doesn't bounce here. But let's look at that. So lower lows since April 4th. Actually, let me just uh, pull up the. Uh... Yeah, that's just, that kind of makes things difficult, honestly. Yeah, I don't think at this point I should just, just keep this right here. So thank you. Hmm. This is actually all right. So let's see. Let's see real quick before I look at that. Um. So for the ES traders, yeah, a possible. Yeah. Could this? I think this gets down to here. I think we get down to here at least. Let's look at the uh, key real quick. So, about how are you feeling? You said did you caught this whole short going down this morning? Yeah, pretty much. I was holding. I sat through some drawdown and stuff, but I was holding mm -hmm. pretty much. And, yeah. <laughs> caught the shorts. Gucci. Got out, finished before PPI. Good thing. <laughs> that would have been blowing accounts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because uh yeah, a lot of bears got hurt in that. <laughs> a lot of bears got hurt with that. Yo, yeah. what's up, Mick? Says, how do you create a tick chart in trading view? I love to know the steps you took before. Yo, what's trading up, uh you? streaming shout? So um the tick charts is only in top step X. They do use trading view. And if I'm familiar or not familiar, but I did see something about trading view trying to test out having tick charts, tick charts, but it's not on, it's not on this plan. So uh, right now, the only trading view chart that has tick uh, data is on top step X. Um, but uh, if, uh, let me see. So the, if you trade, so I usually trade on the thousand tick chart, which is usually a cup. I think it'll be similar to a second. If I'm not mistaken, it'll be in seconds. It'll be the closest thing you'll get. Yeah. I think this looks kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. So a tick chart will be equivalent to uh, trading on a seconds chart. Yeah, because this looks like a thousand tick chart to me. Yeah, this is. Yo, what the? F Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's up? Inky was just dropping. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at this. I hope they don't call this the top. I see more potential. This ain't, this ain't no top. But 
this ain't no top. They're gonna probably rebound this at a. They're gonna probably rebound it at. Oh, this is actually well for the NQ. This is actually a well. Let me shut up. So, like I said, that two two oh six to one ninety range. Two oh six to one ninety. It's good. Hmm. Nah, I'm not doing this with you today, ES. You're going to take some of these damn targets. Because what you did to me this morning, that was diabolical. I didn't deserve it. I didn't deserve that. I waited all night for that move. I deserved to get in that pump. Damn it. But the good thing about Ninja Trader 8 is that I can trade both ways, which I absolutely love. I can trade both ways with Ninja Trader 8. So I can stay short, but if there's an area where I think that price can go long, I can go long as well. <clears throat> but I have to uh, I have to adjust this real quick. I don't think I have the time to adjust it, but Yeah, dude, I don't know what the hell just happened, man. I mean, I don't know if we had any news or or what, honestly. I don't think so. I don't remember speaking about any news happening around. Um... Let's see. All right, so uh, right now, what is it, 8, 8.45? So we got Fed Barkin speaking. So we got Fed speakers speaking right now. We have Fed Barkin speaking. Oh, you said what happened with my player? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so yeah, so um I was in so I had a I had a, a, a limit sitting at 180. I had a limit sitting here at 180 all night. All night I was waiting on this. And so I got in right here. And then we had this big pump up, and I was like, yeah, I'm good. I kind of figured that they was gonna try to sell it at the 21 EMA. But I was like, I'm in a good entry so I can survive this. And of course, PPI, I didn't think we was going to get a wick like that. And I, I'm not going to risk 11 points. I was in minis with three contracts. So this would have been devastating. And I got stopped out. And it completely ran. And it went, it pumped up so fast, I couldn't even FOMO into this damn thing nowhere. So I was kind of frustrated about that. <laughs> Yeah, that's dirty. Yeah, she did me like she she did me too dirty yesterday, man, or this morning. Too dirty, and like I said, I don't. Yeah, okay, never mind. That doesn't matter. No, it's just fucking dirty, man. All right, so columns. Mm -hmm. Arms, volume, pulling and stacking. What the hell is that? I'll add it just to see what it is. Okay, so apply. Columns, volume, type, buy and sell. Uh, 
Um, I'm going in stacking data exchange. Uh, I'm going to have to actually look to see what the hell that even means. I don't even know what pulling and stacking is. Uh, properties. Nice data. Market data. Okay. Actually, I might, I'm actually going to get out of this. And I'm going to, I'm going to revenge trade this, baby. Last stop. But this is going up. This is going up. I, I wouldn't short this if I was anybody. I wouldn't short. This is going up. I think uh, if, depending on the reaction we got, the job numbers might be bad. I'm not sure. Don't Don't quote me. Don't quote me. But based on the reaction that we just got, the job numbers might be bad. And that's what we needed to bring back hope for the um, for the feds to cut rates. And what I mean by bad, because like uh, we we spoke about in previous streams, uh, these employers are competing for labor, and the labor market they want they want higher wages. Well, if the economy is bad enough, it will encourage laborers to come in and accept anything, which is kind of dirty, but um, it's the truth. In order for the uh, economy to thrive, you need laborers. And if nobody wants to labor, we don't have an economy. And so if the times are good and people get comfortable on their couch eating their potato chips and say, you know what, I don't need to go to work today because I'm good, well, that's bad for the economy. Yeah, that's why they're bringing the migrants in. Yeah, we spoke about that. The migrants, uh, this situation with uh, allowing the migrants into the country from all over the world, not the small group that the news try to portray to, to get the clicks and views, to try to make it racist. But these migrants are coming from all over the world, and the United States is allowing them in to fill in that labor deficit. Because Americans are today too quote too fat too lazy too depressed too this too that and then when you do bring somebody on as a business you have people that what's the correct term i want to use have their own ambitions and they're not necessarily they're they're there to work but they're not there to to grow the company they're just trying to they're just trying to survive and that's not good either you got insiders people that just try to infiltrate your company steal secrets steal from the company itself so i mean there's there's a lot that goes into it it can go deep we can talk about it the entire stream but the current labor market is not suitable for the economy for the quote-unquote american dream so Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's in Canada. So uh, it's not, it's like the news will sit here and tell you that all the migrants are coming through the southern border, but they're coming through both borders. They're coming through Canada and they're coming through, uh, uh, yeah, the north, the southern border through Texas, Arizona, all the border states, they're coming through there and Canada. So then the news won't tell you that. You have to actually kind of do your research on that one. But migrants are also going to Canada to come here to the United States. And that's actually where New York is getting most of the their migrants. I know they've said that uh, Governor Abbott has just been busing them to New York, but that's not true. They've been coming through Canada as well.
So uh, stream and shout. So the the okay. So I have to come back into Ninja Trader and kind of update things. But this revenge strategy, it seems like everybody lo loves this strategy for some reason. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but it is definitely what it is called is a revenge trading strategy. It's uh, short targets with a lot of size. Short targets, a lot of size. Um, it's a nine point target. Uh, when I was trading the NQ. I have six contracts, only looking for nine points. And that nine points, if all targets are hit, it's a nine, it's a nine hundred, it's either a nine or seven to nine hundred dollar play. And I can scalp with this. I can keep, like as an example, if all my targets get hit, I can add on to it. And as price continues to go up, I can add and add and add and add and add and add to it. But it is what it it is what it's uh what it stands for. It's when I'm revenge trading and the market pissed me off. <laughs> Remember we used that strategy or you had your setup, I had mine. And we couldn't even <laughs> every time we go in there and do it, we couldn't even get three, four points. <laughs> In the NQ, in the NQ too. I was like, "Yo, you gotta be kidding!" Me. <laughs> I know, right? I know, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, I never failed. You could not. I'm like, I can't even get four points out of you, NQ. <laughs> I mean, I expect that from the ES, but NQ, you too, you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think the Bears about to start. They, they're about to feel the pain. They're about to feel the pain right here, man. Now, if the Bears fail, look at all their stops. This triangle right here. All their stops gonna get ran. They need to, the Bears need to, need to push. But uh, unfortunately, we saw this coming. They stops about to get ran. They stops about to get ran. And I'm only using this strategy because uh, this is the only one I haven't set up. Like I said, I haven't set up my because um, I haven't traded on Ninja Trader for so long. All my ATM strategies are kind of for NQ, not ES. So um, I have to come back in and and fix this actually. I will say that this is kind of annoying. Man. Well, since the pulling and stacking, yes, yeah, is kind of lagging behind. You said what? So it looks like ES is lagging behind NQ. <laughs> As always, I know that uh, yeah, with the ES, yeah. Yeah, the one thing that I have to, uh, the one thing that I have to kind of get out of the habit of is thinking that I'm like, I, I've traded the NQ for so long now that any instrument I trade, I, I just expect that from all other instruments. I just expect that. Okay. So this ES is about sitting in that pain. Yeah, yo, I I I was looking at ES yesterday, and I was I mean. I'm right, about to get that push. So the e I don't want to say this. So compared to the NQ, I, I guess because I'm so used, to, I'm I got the tolerance of the NQ. The ES is not 
as bad. It's, it's a different type of pain. You're not afraid that it's not going to work. It's that the pain is being impatient because it's nine times out of 10 is going to work. Like, especially if you see structure, because ES doesn't overshoot like NQ does. So you can put a lot of size on ES. The pain comes from like, yeah, she, that, this bitch takes her time to get there, though. Like, God damn, just hurry up and get there. <laughs> like, that's the kind of pain that you feel with ES. <laughs> Like, hurry the hell up. <laughs> at least, that, at least that's, uh, that's what I experienced, man. Like, I was watching this shit last night, and I was like, yo, this shit don't move for real. But uh, you can put a lot of contracts on it. You can get paid for your patience. Uh, that is something that the, the ES does have over the ES or the NQ. I'll give it that. I'm not putting 15 contracts on if the NQ, if the NQ ain't moving. Man, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, it, yeah, it, MP3, this shit takes forever. And then what hurts more is if you're wrong. <laughs> it's like, yo, if you misread the structure and you're wrong, <laughs> yeah, that's pain, yo. All right, Pete, <laughs> with size too. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, that's why I was like, yeah, I couldn't risk 11 points on NQ. Shit. Shit, we need 11 points and draw down. 11 points on the, <laughs> on the ES with size. Yeah, that's it's like, yeah, nah. Nah. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. All right, so, I mean, they're holding this off. But I'm pretty sure that I'll go push at nine is going to. And then uh, something else, I realized that, like, the news affected the ES and NQ differently. I, I realized that yesterday. Like, that uh, that auction that auction news, or not the auction news, but it was something that, that, uh, that happened. And it affected the ES and NQ differently. And I guess it would make sense because, I mean, obviously the NQ is more tech stock. So if it's not really talking about the dollar or inflation or something like that, then tech stocks don't get affected by it. But with the ES, because it's a collection of everything, it's going to affect it a little bit different. So now I got to kind of be more mindful of the news and stuff like that. But I think this can get to 523, though. But we're going to leave runners, though. Because we're going to at least test this high. We're going to at least do that. And I think we can get that. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Says two thirties. Yeah, I got one at two thirty-two. I got a runner at two forty just in case. <laughs> just in case. Cause I'm thinking spy may get to five twenty today. Five eighteen, five twenty. That's what I'm thinking. If you don't get there today, we definitely gonna get there tomorrow. If you don't get there today. Because all the bears right now are hurting. All their puts, if if not expiring worthless or underwater. So they're going to try to short this thing, or at least that's that's my assumption. They're going to try to short this, and that's what's going to fuel this move higher. What I don't want to do, though. That one, that's up, dude. All right, we got five seconds to the algo push. Let's see which way she goes. Let's see which way she goes. All 
Okay, that was weak. <clears throat> yeah, it ain't looking good right now. If it, if it touches that, then that shit's done. Touches that, that's done. Wow. Down our room. EQ down 30, pushing almost 40 points. Right now. It's like three. Yeah, price action needs to find support here. If it don't. What I should have done was hedge this position, honestly. That's what I should have done. Hmm. There's resistance at 75 on EQ. Yeah, they're coming in. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it that way. And they got to break this level right here. If the Bulls really want it, and they got to break this right here, 202. If not, this is going down. Mm. Okay, give me a second, right? Let's do this. Okay, do that. Hmm.
It says tech is looking weak. <sighs> yeah. So, <sighs> yo, this is the NQ. We I mean, got this right here, but what I also see is that you got the 200 and VWAP support in the same area. So, <sighs> if the day is going to chop like this, I guess this is what we have to endure, but we do got support right there. Uh, all right, man. I wonder if they're trying to come from 190, 193, 192. Okay, let me look at this real quick. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. Yeah, I wonder if they're trying to come from 192. Looks like they're trying to go for 192. All right, so I'm going to see what they do. Uh, 192. And then that's when I'll get out of this position. So we touched 193.75. I should have stayed in my damn short. Okay. All right, so let's see what they do here. We touch 192.50. Okay. That's kind of what I wanted to see. Damn it. 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 Yeah, I'm starting to think. Yeah, I'm starting. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. I'm starting to think that that's actually the real level right there. That's the real level. Yeah, that's the real level. Uh, and that's the real level for real. Because it seems like it, it always does that. Like it'll always do that, no matter where where is that. So I'm starting to think that. Now, nah, yeah, if it goes down there, then uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to let it run that much. I'm not going to let it run that much. The bulls need to hold this area right here. They need to hold this area. OK. This is it. This is it. I'll get stopped out at 829. Um, I don't know if I want to, though. I don't know if I want to. With ES, you're going to have to take your profits because it's not the NQ. This is not the NQ. 
Uh, not that cute. Nine and then two oh four. Okay, so I gotta stop that. I'm gonna go back and soon know. Yeah, uh, okay. Damn. 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 Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two eighty six. Two eighty six. Two eighty five. Bye. Dan, do we get back this whole move? That's crazy, yo. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Hey, they just might. You know how they are. Giving back whole moves. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. This macro is literally a cheat code. It says bearish macro. You talking about the economy? When you say macro, it's just careful. It. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. He said the next level might be 81. Let's see. So 81. Wouldn't that be ironic, though? Wouldn't that be ironic? The irony would literally kill me. Not really, though, but wouldn't that be ironic? Okay. So if we, if we just gave back that entire move, if we just gave back the whole thing, and if that's the range, excuse me. All right. If that's the range, we just get back to the whole thing.
Okay. All right. We're going to go back to the drawing boards because, yeah, no move is holding up. Seems like the Bears are just, they want this more. I guess that move up was just a pump to rebalance higher time frames, I guess, or higher structure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that move down was was vicious, man. That move down was vicious. That was a vicious move down. A vicious move down. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop out here. If price touches this, I'm gonna stop out. Or God dang it. Looking at this chart and seeing stuff. This is where I'm gonna stop out at. I got a level sitting at 830 or uh 180 and 30 cents. I wonder if they're gonna try to tap that or if they're gonna try to hold it here. You see, is NQ just reach lows maybe? Uh yeah, hopefully it recovers here. No, we, we can't do that. So a lot of this has to come off like right, right here in order to, to recoup. Like if this works, if this, I mean, if it don't, then I mean, we just get stopped out. But if this works, we're just going to have to hold. All right, I'm going to have to hold to recoup the losses. I mean, I guess we could see a, uh, I guess we could see VWAP. And then I got to remember that shit, ES kind of moves in a 10 point range. Uh, I mean, it's not like she can't do it, but normally she moves in a 10 point range and it's, hmm. Not like she can't do it. There's a retracement is brutal. Honestly, man, I should have stayed short. I didn't expect. I didn't expect to get a full fledged retracement like this. I didn't expect that. This was surprising. The reason why this was surprising to me was that we had a, uh, an obvious liquidity sweep of this low. And then we had this massive move up higher. I mean, we did tap into resistance, we did tap into it. But I thought that we was going to get a retracement at least to like 200. I mean, especially with this big move up, you would think there's buyers here. Unless, well, this is probably a stop run higher. And there was no real buyers here. The bears were buying this up and not the bulls. But yeah, I figured that they would actually try to buy it back up at 200. And that's where I originally got caught. Yeah, if they don't hold this area, then we're definitely going down. 
I mean, I don't know how far back this chart goes. Yeah, it doesn't go back that far. But I think they're finding, I'm think, I think they found support here. Cause it's like, if they're going to give up this whole move, I think they found support here. But you already know how we do it on this channel. We don't either this thing hit our targets or it hits our stop. We don't we don't get scared and get out of the position. And I think that's probably what it was. Yeah. Just, oh yeah, I'm I'm going to get it back, uh Moxie. And uh take care, man. Hopefully, hopefully you get better. I'm gonna get it back. I had a miscalculation here, but I'm going to get this money back. I'm going to get it back. The one thing that's important right now is that my average entry is low. At least my average entry is not up here. I mean, I did take that loss, but... At least I have this average entry down here. Because if the bulls fail to protect this area, well, I don't. My, my stop is the least thing I need to be worried about. I need to start looking for lower prices. Yeah. Yeah. If we get a break, a break above. Then yeah. All right, so this can, this this area right here could be a, a a great place to take profits right here. They can possibly the bears can possibly come back in and try to take price lower again. So if if you got an entry down here, I'll look to take take off some profits here. I'm trying to get I'm looking for targets on the other side of this range. And I'm referring to this range right here. I'm looking for targets on the other side of this range. But that massive move up and that massive move down. And this is the ES too, so I got to remember that. This ain't the NQ. Let's, see. Yes, let's look at the NQ real quick. Yeah, the same thing goes for the NQ. I would look to take off some profits at 225, 220. If it gets there. The bears would have to, or the bulls would have to break through 230 for this to go higher. I think I'll point control at 'Cause Jay Powell says he's waiting for a better dip in the eighties. The way it's looking, it looks like I mean we'll see for but for right now, this for right now. It looks like they got in long at that breakout. You see where they broke out at eighty eight? Or not not eighty eight, my bad. And well that is technically a breakout as well. But this breakout right here, that's where it seems like they're finding support. So we'll see. Oof. Yeah, I know, Austin, I know. You got to wait for it. You talking about Smith? Is Smith you good? Yeah, I'm straight. Oh, okay. Uh, he said they did NQ dirty. And I was like, is it another thing? Smith? Yeah, I'm <laughs> From yesterday, huh?
We'll see, man. I think they're gonna try to. Oh man, it's boring. Yeah, that's right. Keep buying up Apple. Keep buying Apple up. So on Bookmap, there there is so much resistance right here. So from this area on, it's so much resistance. And I'm starting. I'm starting to. I'm starting to uh, see the difference in ES Bookmap and NQ's Bookmap. I think uh, I have to start taking the the supply of resistance on ES seriously. I think I'm at the start. I'm starting to see that. If there's resistance, it seems like price has a hard time getting through it. But we all know the NQ cuts through all resistance and support like butter. So this is going to be an adjustment. But there is resistance all in this area. And there is support down here as well that's why price is kind of sandwiched in between support and resistance right now because the bulls and bears are basically at these trading ranges right now on book map he says yeah nq is not as yeah i see that that's why yesterday when uh <laughs> y'all saw me take that massive loss for no for no reason after sitting through that trade, getting out at the top, I, I thought that I can get an extra $200. And the, the trade completely collapsed on me, man. Completely collapsed on me. Yeah. They say slow and steady wins the race, apparently. <clears throat> Two hundred extra more dollars. I felt so foolish after that trade. It's just it's like Sharon was gone. Yeah. 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 I go back and look at that trade. I look back at that trade yesterday. And I was like, yo, that was definitely me thinking that this was the NQ. That was definitely me trading the NQ. Like that was definitely, because uh, I know better than uh, to trade the top with ES. I know better than that. And I found out yesterday. I found out. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. She is. Well, I will say I did my own self dirty because I was short up here. I got out at uh, this area right here because, I, like I said, I thought that the bulls were going to come back in at this level. I mean, when you see a massive move higher like this, your initial thoughts is that once it gets like to the middle point, by at least 50%, the bulls are going to buy it up, double top, and if the bears are serious, then they take it down. But this was a straight two-legged pullback. Now that, I'm, now, that, now that I see it, hold on. This is a straight two-legged pullback into what possibly can be support. So we'll see if this holds up. Actually, let me let me look at this real quick. Let me look at this. Let me look at it. I mean, one of these gotta go, man. Cause that's yeah, that's a big one. Uh, isn't that interesting <laughs> that is interesting dude that is interesting
Let's see. Can this get back up to two night two twenty? That would be interesting, yo. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. Hey, we sat in this thing. Y'all better not. Uh, no, it's not that I'm tired. It's just, this is boring. I'm, I'm used to the NQ. <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> the ES will put you to sleep, yo. This ES will put you to sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that makes sense. So where where did it price get to? Two forty. Because then you couldn't get to the highs frame. Yeah, ES is boring. I honestly, like I said, man, it it it, it disappoints me that people would rather. Consume ES content because that that hurt my heart. That hurt my heart. I posted more ES content on my Twitter, and obviously I'm gonna post my NQ content and my ES content gets more traction. Like it it blows the NQ content out of the water, out of the water, man. I may get if I'm lucky a hundred to a thousand views on NQ. I get. 100k views on my ES content and I'm like yo why 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 he says but if you make ES money that's good I will say I will say that uh ES is slow but Aside from my 500 point NQ trade, I've made more money in an ES trade than in an NQ trade. And the reason why is just basically because NQ is so random, I don't put the size on NQ. I'm very mindful about how much size I put on her. With ES, I'm very comfortable putting 10 to 15 contracts on her. Because I know she's not going to do anything unexpected. And honestly, if you kind of trade outside the middle, you can only you can risk a little bit. You don't have to risk a lot to trade ES, which is another upside with trading ES. You can have a lot of contracts on with small risk. Especially if support forms kind of like this. Something like that. Like, I mean, once you see a support candle. You can kind of just put your your stop like two or three points underneath this candle and be all right with ES. And Q will just go down there and take the liquidity for no damn reason and go in your direction. But with ES, you can kind of put your stop right here. And uh, but like I said, that's kind of what I did this morning. Well, no, 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 I didn't put it underneath the candle. I just thought that uh Yeah, I was in here. I think I had my stop like 10 points, six or 10 points. So 80. So yeah, I had my stop like right here, right here this morning. And then I got wicked out by the news. So as I got stopped out, I was like, okay, I guess I'm wrong. And then it bounced and then it soared higher. And I was like, no way, no way.
No way. Hmm. Hmm. Es Anonymous. <laughs> I got to change my name to Es Anonymous for sure. He said, too bad, I don't know, man, wanted a better date. Option in the futures pipeline. Yeah. Uh, when I came from options, I think I did went straight to ES. Yeah, I did. And then Brandon became the pusher. Brandon or Smith the pusher. Put me on NQ. I just never went back. Hey, uh, it, it could be a play on words. The NASDAQ treated me so bad, so I needed a stable. I needed somebody stable. I finally found <laughs> in my match with ES. I still think about the NQ, though. I still send her big head text, text messages from time to time. I do tell the ES that she moved too slow and that she needs to hurry the hell up. I say things like, damn, NQ would have did that already. What you waiting on? <laughs> NQ would have did that already. But but like I said, man, with ES, you can you can put your candle, you can, you can put your stop underneath this low and be good. I mean, if it comes back, you kind of know you're wrong. Because the ES, I mean, once it gets that the liquidity, then it it just moves in one direction. But you kind of have to take your profits. And I realize that if I don't take my profits with ES, she only gives you a couple of times to do that. So <laughs> I, I reply to them Texas. It's like, baby, I miss you, man. She moved too slow, man. I'm used to that fast life. But nobody don't care about you. I guess you're too much of a bad bitch. Nobody don't care about you. They want that girl that you can marry. <laughs> they don't want that fast girl. They want someone that they can put a ring on it. Apparently. Like, uh, when I said that my ES post hit 25K views, 25K of engagement in one night, I was like, yo, this, this... Ugh. And when I looked at it this morning, I think I was at 100K views, 100K engagement on Twitter with the the ES the short that I posted with the CPI. And then she'll do something like this. Hey, Jay Powell, uh, let's see. You might, you might get that lower level. You might get it. Depending on how she's looking right now, you might get it. She has to break through this level of resistance. I mean, obviously, this is where all the bears are. Well, there goes the stop run. Never mind. Never mind. Here's a stop run. Never mind. My bad. So what I was originally originally going to say is that price has to get above this high. It needs to get above this high. But apparently the bulls got it now. But I do think that somewhere in this little range, might you might want to take some profit if you're in this long. I think I'm kind of cutting it up. We'll see. If if it gets up here and she starts acting up, which I think she can get to the other side of this range, actually. Yeah, like 210. I think she can get there. Two, 210, 205.
actually let me let me actually delete this chart and let me just put it on a higher time frame so y'all guys can see what i'm looking at so y'all can see what i'm looking at with this get this a little higher um what what frame is that uh, using a 36 tick chart Actually, what I should do is actually delete this chart, put a new chart on, the ones that don't have the drawings on it. Oh, as that loads up, let's see. Let's see how the trade's doing. Oh, that's that's what happened the last time. Uh, well, I guess this is a good area right here. They could try to come in right here. But we'll see. And technically, I think that's a 10-point move, 81. 81 to, this was a 10 point move right here. And we'll see, we'll see, we'll, we'll see what she does. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see if she'll hit the target, if she'll get the target. Hmm. Am I being too greedy though? I might be being too greedy. I might be being too greedy. No way, dude. Ah, okay. All right, man. And then I don't got I don't have anything on this on this chart. Hmm. This is actually a, a good good uh, value area. Four five range make that sign. -in. Four visible label. I think that's all I need for this. Okay, VWAP. I just need session, just none. And the bulk green. So, um, apply. All right. Put the as a name, 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 And then nine six. Apply. I think the two hundred and nine. Four point five. Okay. Yeah, I think I think we pumped, dude. 
I think we pump. But like I said, they might come right here. They may come right here. That's why I was like, am I being too greedy trying to get past 200? But I'm up 10 points right now, but that ain't enough. But I think from what I was, from what I see, 10 points is a lot on ES, apparently, especially if you got size. Especially if you got the size. That's a lot. Um, and turn up the chart trader. Minimize this for right now. So this is what I'm looking at. I mean, we got obviously we got this range right here. We got this range breakout lower. We swept the range and we went right back into it. So possibly. If they can keep going, we can possibly get to the other side of this range, possibly here at 214. And then we can possibly see the ES start the range, possibly. But, I mean, we got this big, massive CPI move down. They sold it here. Went, and then they they took out the liquidity here. And then ran it back up, which honestly, like that was like a perfect place, a perfect place to be a seller. If we can get it above this, we can definitely get a stop run higher, possibly to testing that uh, 230 level. It will be amazing if we can do this today, but I think this will most likely be something that we do tomorrow, the, how slow everything is moving right now. The market is not even moving. And this is today's low, 171. Oh shit, look at that. Hmm. Oh. So yeah, this actually might be going higher, actually. This this actually might be going higher. Because we kind of double bottom. We kind of we double bottom here. We swept the liquidity. We touched that shoulder. I think price actually might be going higher. Like for real, for real. See if we can get this first target hit. Yeah, let's look at NQ because I don't think Smith is streaming right now. Huh. NQ is at a good spot to be a seller. This would be a good spot for sellers to come in this. They try to take price down. This would be a good spot for them to come in. Them being successful is the question. Them being successful is going to be the question. You can already see the bears coming in. Obviously, you got this whole block of resistance right here. You got this block of resistance. And on top of it being resistance, it's the top of the range. We would need a range breakout. And for, for price to not come back into the range. That's what would need to happen. And as we talk right now, the bears are trying to come in this. So I'm going to assume that the bulls are going to try to defend this level. If they fail to defend this level, we can definitely see possibly a double bottom or a move lower. We'll see. And yeah, I kind of felt that, yeah, I was probably being too greedy with this target, but we're going to keep it, though. <clears throat> like I said, if you're in this long with ES, if you're in this long with me, this would be a great area to take off some partials, to take off some of your profits. This would be a great area.
says, uh, you said your take profits at 67. You talk about on NQ, 67. Yep, yeah, that's at, that's right at the top of the range. Well, shoot. Well, I'm not going to tell you how to trade. But well, shoot, if they get it to 67, they can definitely stop running higher. They can definitely stop running higher if they get to 67. Yeah. I would love that too. And we're heading into lunch. We got like eight minutes until lunch. So we'll see, man. Shoot, if this volume is anything. So 198. Yeah, they're coming in at 198. Yo, this yo, this whole area is completely red on Bookmap. Hmm. I think I'll probably call it something different. Yeah, this is definitely the area that they need to uh, defend. This is definitely the area. Shit, the real question is, will the late bears get to eat? But I think, based on the structure, I think I think the market has shifted. Based on the structure, I think we, I think, I think the market has shifted bullish. We got these bear moves down. We got these late bears trying to come in and sell this down. I think I think the market has shifted bullish. I think we get a run up. Yeah, I agree. Sellers trying real hard. And it looks like they're going to fail. To NQ above yesterday's highs. Oh shit! Well, I'm... Hmm. 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 Shit. I don't want to be a damper on the bull party, but damn. I'm, like I said, I'm going to hold on to my position, but for you guys out there, uh, boy, this is going to be a tough decision for you. And this is going to be tough. The bull's got to get it above 260. 
if you want to see high prices. You really gotta get it above, yeah, 260. If you want to see higher prices, the bulls gotta gotta take it above 260. And hopefully they don't fail. They can't let price get under 240. They'll fail. Or a strong close. Because it'll fail. It, it will fail. Same thing for ES. You know, if hopefully this, it doesn't fail. And hopefully it doesn't fail here. Because if you look at book map, you know, this is so much red in this area. We don't got no news, no nothing. Either these bears have to turn into buyers or price is going down. I mean, those are the only two options. Either these bears turn to buyers or price is going down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that got trampled. I mean, 202, 205. I mean, price is holding up, so we'll see. We'll see. Well, I guess with ES, I guess I could start doing that with ES. I guess I should start doing that with ES, actually. And then it's e and that VWAP is right there too. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Yeah, thank you. This is, I'm about to short this soon. I mean, nobody wouldn't blame you, Invest. Nobody would not blame you for, for shorting. Especially if they fail here. Especially if they fail here. Mm. Especially if they fail.
Uh, somewhat, somewhat, somewhat. I got caught in that big drop, that big drop down. I got caught in that. I am currently long. I just added to this position. Y'all gain weight, start, start buying. So the market can go up. That's what we love to see. We love to see this lime, this lime green, baby. We love to see the lime green. Oh, you just got home? You didn't miss much. I mean, the market just only went up a million points and came back down a million points. That's all it did so far. Hasn't done anything special. <laughs> Yo, congratulations, man. Oh, you T. Ah. I mean, you know what the saying is around here? Either hit your stop or hit your target. We don't get out of positions. The market does too many of these fake outs for too many of these fake outs, man. No, no, that's actually a pretty good strategy, man. I'm trying to actually try to implement that myself, taking profits and scaling back in if price does come back down to your break even. Of course. Um. Hit yo. Yes, that now that was dirty, yo. That that was dirty. That that was dirty. That was absolute dirtiness. That was dirty. That was dirty. That was absolute dirtiness, yo. These are micros. I'm trading the um I'm trading the what is it called? The my funded futures account. And the starter pack has a scaling plan. And uh I don't yeah that was that was absolute dirtiness that was dirty that was dirty that was dirty that was dirty yo That was dirty. And this actually might be going down now. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because we did kind of double top. We'll see if the bulls can push past this. If not. If not. But I mean, it's not a. It's not really the best place for bears to come in and try to short this. It's not the best place. But we've seen crazier things, so we're not going to... 
I wouldn't short here if I was a bear. Because you're technically in the middle. I wouldn't short that. But I'm not going to say that if they do come in and short it, that it won't work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's in the middle. I don't think any big bear would come in right there to short it. I I'm saying I'm, there's obviously people in this area trying to short it. But I don't think any big bears are in this area trying to short it. A good place to short would be at the bottom of this range or possibly at the top of this range. I'm not saying that it won't work. Yeah. But ES, that was dirty, man. That was that was absolute dirtiness. I should have been out of this contract. That was dirty. That, that was that was dirty, man. Okay. Yeah, that was dirty, man. That was dirty. That was dirty, man. Yeah, I'm thinking so. I mean, if they don't protect this right here, they don't protect it. And this target ain't good enough no more. Target ain't good enough. That was complete dirtiness, man. Let me see where this blows at. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Mm. Yeah, I'm not changing my number it. You see, you're asking if I added to this position? Yeah, I did. I added to this position. I mean, she literally probably missed my target by a tick. By a tick. And then came crashing down. Yeah, I think this is it. I mean, I, I think this is it. The bulls, I mean, the bulls got to hold this area off. They have to, they have to defend this area if price is destined to go higher. If they don't, we're going to get this crash right back down. Yeah, they have not failed yet. That's why I'm still in long, baby. That's why I'm still in long. But boy, this is a struggle. You don't know? I mean, 
I, I mean, I got the same, man. If, if it hasn't gone down, then that means it's going up and vice versa. It hasn't gone down yet. The one thing that we can say is that the Bears have tried to push price lower. They have tried. So what that tells me, if the Bears are failing to push price lower, I know where their stops are. I know where their stops are. And the same thing for the Bulls. I know where the Bulls stops are. So that's, that's what I'm watching for. And uh, right on book map, there's nothing but bears in this area right here on book map. And it's solid too. So the Bulls really going to have to show these bears to get the hell out of the way. Get the hell out of the way. Reverse your positions or be used as liquidity. I mean, you can see them. They're trying. They're selling it. They're trying to sell it. But I do see, I do see that, I do see it. I mean, I see why they're selling it here. I mean, we, on a higher time frame, this is resistance. I can see why, show, show you what I'm looking at. I can see why they're selling it here. It's right here. No, actually it's right here. Yeah, right there. And that's why they're coming in to sell this right here. You got to break a structure. That's why the bears are coming in. So it's a good place to be a sell or no, no, it's not. This is a better place to be a seller. I would at least take some of my profits off at 205, 204. Because I think price can get up here. But I can see why bears are selling it here, though. I can see why. Yeah, again, wait. Somebody drunk all the orange juice, baby. Somebody drunk it up. But I think they I think they went to the store and got some oranges. They got some fresh ones so they can squeeze it. I think they about to go to the store and get some fresh oranges to squeeze, baby. That's what it's starting to look like. It looks like they about to get some fresh oranges right now. Looks like they looks like they about to go to the store and get some oranges, baby. To squeeze it. He said OJ Sis. He said OJ Simpson passed that today. No, I'm talking about these stops. Gameway says that it seemed like it ran out of juice. I said it looks like they about to go to the store and get some fresh oranges to squeeze. We talking about these stops. That's what it's starting to look like. He was talking about OJ Simpson, but his nickname is the Juice. <laughs> no, well, I'm talking about uh, I, I saw what Alfred said. Look, look, look at that. The fresh oranges, baby. 
The fresh oranges, baby. We went to the store to get the oranges to squeeze, baby. I know. I, I saw what Alfred said, but uh, I was replying to uh. Oh, he said OJ Simpson died today. Oh, he died. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad, guys. I thought y'all was talking about. Okay. My bad. Oh. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But we did go to the store and get some fresh oranges to squeeze, though. But I think that's it, though. I think that's it. I think I might have gotten too greedy with this first target. I think I might have gotten too greedy with this first target. Damn it. Let's see if she'll forgive me and come back. Let's see if she'll forgive me and come back. Yes, baby. Oh, yeah. It's always been you. It's always been you, baby. <laughs> Never. <laughs> so, Never. It's always yeah, been you. You should have front run at that that range that you have. I know, I know. I thought she was an NQ baby. It's always been you. I don't know who the NQ is. I deleted her off my really? phone and everything. <laughs> I deleted her off my NQ. charts. Don't listen to him. <laughs> he, he he still got you on the charts. It's always been you, NQ. <laughs> this is ES Anonymous now, baby. Come on. Come on, show this is ES Anonymous, baby. Don't drop. Don't drop. Don't drop. She gonna drop, man. ES, baby, please. <laughs> and I know I was getting too greedy with that damn first target. Ugh. All right, man. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. God damn it. Uh, ES, bitch. Ugh. I think that's it, guys. Um, if you're in this, we missed that first target. I think this is it. I think we might gonna be in for a retracement. Right now, I'm in hopium for it to at least come back. Actually, I'll put it one more point down just in case. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong, and I just want my target. No, I want my break even, baby. Come on, boo. Come on. <laughs> You're really about to go to break even now. <laughs> <laughs> my break even. <laughs> baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong. And I just want my first target. I just want my first target, baby. You could always close it out. Whoa. Yo, this is a church. Don't be speaking that blasphemy. What the hell? Close it out. Close it out. Close your position. Close it out. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> hey, Griff closed. He got his Griff closed. He got his uh profits. Yo, congratulations on that, man. Yo, this is, uh, hopefully, hopefully the ES will be merciful and allow me to get out at my, at my target. Hopefully. At my first target. Because, I mean, if I close the whole position, I might miss the whole move. <laughs> That's how you feel? That's how I feel, man. Like like I've already said, man, I'd rather get stopped out than to close out, man. Stop me out. I know I, I know what to look for if uh I know what to look for. It's just I'm just gonna have to accept certain things if if it comes to that. Yeah, send it, baby. 
And give me another chance, boo. I'll get out this time. I'll get out. I even moved my, my target down to make it easier for you. I even moved it down to make it easier. <laughs> you think she's going to do it? Or is she going to play with my emotions? She's going to play around. Yeah, she will, yeah. We got them fresh oranges, baby. We went to the store, got them oranges, baby. We went to the store and got them oranges, baby. Hit that first. That's what I'm talking about. First target hit. First target hit. So that first target, we was in at, I think, like 88 or somewhere in this area. We scaled in six contracts at around like 90 or something. So yeah, this is a first. Good target. First good target, man. First good target. Like I said, I'm gonna hold this shit until like uh I'll take some off at the at this uh at 209. 209. 209. 209. 209. 209. Cause I yeah, I think this goes now. I mean, you don't. I mean, should I take some off right here? I mean, am I am, am I being too overzealous right now? Do you think we go to two oh? Yes. You think I'm being overzealous? It's not the NQ. It's not the NQ. <laughs> She's okay. Not the NQ. So this is what I'll do. I'll take off two. So I'm only in literally half a contract. Half a contract. Now I'll even move my stuff up. No, I don't think that's my break even, but no, that's too close. I'll lose a point. No, if it breaks this low, then I'm wrong. If it, if it breaks this low, I'm wrong. I think I'm being overzealous. I think I need to get in short. I think I'm being overzealous right now. Nah, like I said, I ain't gonna get scared. I ain't scared. I ain't scared of you, ES. You ain't, I ain't scared of you. <laughs> All right, let's look at a spy. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it was rough, man. It was rough at first. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was rough. I mean, shit. we was in profit, and then we was out of profit. That shit was rough, man. All right, so spy is at five thirteen right now. It got to the highs of five, 15, basically 16. Mm. Hmm. Let me look at an hour chart. Let's look at an hourly chart. I, I still got my 520 calls for tomorrow. I think my, my 520 calls that I bought yesterday, I think they're going to expire. Actually, I'm just close them out. I'll just, I'll just take the loss because they've already lost so much value. They've lost so much value already. I'm, I'm just going to close them out. Yeah, I'm just going to close these out, man. I, I've lost so much value. I've already lost 106, 160 bucks. Mm. So on these zero DTEs, shit, I lost all the money. I lost all the value in these things. Shit, man. Whatever, man. Well, at this point, uh, might as well just let it rise, see what happens. At this point, no point closing it. I already lost all the, the value on them. Ain't no point closing them. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so my zero DTEs I bought yesterday, I thought that we was going to at least get to 518. I lost all the value in those calls. 
If you're talking about my top step X, that's a 50K. I was gambling the, um, I got those 50Ks for five bucks that I just used to kind of gamble. So I can get all the gambling out pre-market so I can actually take real trades during the day. And you already know what happened with the PPI. So that's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened. Ah, shit. This is a short. This is a short. God damn it. Let me, let me get back in this. This is a short. Ah, shit. Huh. All right, so uh, under normal circumstances, this is a short. Man, I ain't, I ain't scared of no, I ain't scared of no goddamn ES, man. I'm put my stop back. I ain't scared of you. Oh, shit. I mean, it's literally half a contract on a micros. I ain't scared of you. Yeah, that's why I use them for gambling, man. I use those five dollar fifty k combines for gambling. So when I get on the when I get on the stream for you with you guys, it's all out of my system, and I'm taking legit trades. And I'm, I'm not going to ever pass those damn, because uh, I can have those for 10 months, and in 10 months, it'll equal a full uh, regular price 50K. So I'm, uh, I'm not ever going to try to pass those. I'm just going to always use that just to gamble, so I don't start gambling in, my, uh, in the account that we track, and also take these real trades. I mean, if this fails, if this fails right here. No, this needs to fail right here. Because I don't trust it. I mean, yeah, this is a good area to, 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 to short. But let's, let's just do it, man. Let's do it. We'll keep our risk. No, 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 no. No, it hasn't given the signal. Honestly, I should pop... What I should do actually is go long. That's actually what I should do. Okay, what time is it? 10.30. Says I'm double inversing myself. Yes, somewhat. Somewhat. So ultimately, I'm low. We did tap into an area of resistance. But the structure is still bullish. The structure has yet to turn bearish. So I am conflicted with this position right now. I am conflicted. The bulls have yet to fail, even though the bears are still trying to sell this down. The bulls have not failed. 
we have to we have to respect that for at least right now the Bulls have not have not failed. The Bears are failing. They're trying to sell it down and they haven't done so yet. And that's actually where I was going to put my stop right here on this position on the, on the one that I added on. And I agree with you. Uh, I, I I agree with you. Uh, streaming shout. I agree with you. All the liquidity is down here. There ain't no point complaining about it. I guess if she wanted to hit my target, she would have hit it. Or I guess if she wanted to fill my target, because it looked like she touched it. I guess if she wanted to fill me, she would have filled me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. That reminds me. That reminds me. That reminds me. That does remind me. We do got Fed speaker speaking. 10.30. So we got whoever this guy is or whatever this is. Uh, good morning to you all here in our Atlantic Council headquarters. First target hit, baby. 
First target hit. Let's see if we can get the second one hit. Does I add it back long? Stop is at 34.75. Double on the NQ. You said 34.75. Yeah, like, and I'll probably hold it until 270. 270, two, two, somewhere in this area. 265, 270. Yo, we can get a squeeze above two, above 200, above this candle high. He said 290 is your target. Like I said, the Bulls have not failed. The Bulls have yet to fail. So I know that everybody is probably looking for a short right now. And let's look at the tilt, actually, because we know that we fade the tilt in this room. We fade the tilt. Where is that at? Let's look at the tilt. Okay, so let's fake the two. All right, so on the NASDAQ, you got 51% of people short right now. So I already know how that usually ends up. And on the S&P, you got 46% of people long. And this is top step traders, so. I would take this in and the bulls have yet to fail. The bulls are still trying to short this and still failing. The stops can be used as fuel to, to move this market higher. So I would just be mindful that the bulls have yet to fail. And now they could, they, if they fail here, then I can see a, a big move down if they fail. You see how beautiful price action is? You see how the bears are coming in to try to protect their stops? Look at the bears trying to come in and try to protect their stops. But we're about to go to the grocery store and get some new oranges to squeeze, baby. You're going to get some new oranges to squeeze, baby. Two oh three seventy five. Hmm. What are you talking about? Are we about to go to the store and pick up some new oranges? I think so. I think so. I think we're about to go start to squeeze. And if we do squeeze. Actually, let me just do this. Let me do this. Oh, actually, this is not. All right. All right, let's trail this. Let's trail it. Let's trail it. Oh, I hit it. It 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 hit it. Come on, baby. Just keep on pushing. Just keep on pushing. 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 
All right, let's get this new candle. Let's get this new candle. All right, just keep on pushing, boo. Keep on pushing. Come on, keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Yo, we make money in this room. We make money in this room, baby. Keep on pushing, boo. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. We're trying to get as much juice out of this squeeze as possible. Keep on pushing, boo. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Keep on. We, we just went to the store and got some new oranges, baby. We went to the store to get some new oranges to squeeze, baby. This is why we use price action. Your fair value. Let, let's look to see if there was some fair value gaps that just got ran. Some fair value gaps just got just got ran. No, that's not it. Some fair value gaps got ran. We use price action in this room, baby. Yeah, look at that fair value gap. People are shorting at it. These shit don't work. Everybody that shorted at this fair value gap got clapped. Got clapped. We used the price action in this room, baby. The bulls was not failing, so I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to short this shit. They're not failing. The bulls need to fail before we go short. We don't just short because we see a fair value gap. Ah, I, I can't do that. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, I'll keep it below this camp. No, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> but this actually, this is a good area for them to come in short, though. So uh, I will look to get out of some of your... Okay, I, I can live with that. I can live with that. This is a great area to short, actually. This is a great area to short. Now, if they short this shit and it goes down, I wouldn't be surprised. This is a great area to short. I'm actually going to move my stop up. Underneath this candle. Take some nah. Nah, that's half a contract. I'll take it. All right, yo. That's actually a good spot for them to come. That's actually a good spot, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I know, right? The real Iraq, all the fair value gap traders, they just got clapped just now. And they just got super clapped. But this is a good area to short. So uh, this is a great area to short. So just be mindful. I would not long in this area, and I would trail your position. I would trail. I'm going to keep my candle underneath this low. I mean, this is half a contract. This is literally half a contract, so I won't even lose that much. I'll probably lose 50 bucks, but we've made so much money on this move up. We was literally at the bottom. We was in at around like 88 or something. We took our first target here. We took some, or actually took a majority of it at 200, 205. Yeah, we scaled in, got some more. Yeah, we, 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 we took some really good trades, man. Some really good trades. You went to the store to get some more juice because the bulls was running out of it. We needed the bears to go get to the store and get some juice so we can squeeze, baby. All right. So Gameway says he hasn't taken his first TP yet. Like, you've already seen where my target's at. You've already seen, like, we did get that squeeze up, but I do want to point something out. The Bulls have not failed yet. I know this is it's a slow grind up. I know it feels bearish. I know there's still fair value gaps on this chart. I know that. But in order for those fair value gaps to work, 
The Bulls need to fail. They have yet to fail yet. I think they're trying to get to the other side of this range. I mean, we almost got there. We almost got to the other side of this range. We almost got there. I don't think, well, 13 might be kind of asking for a lot. I'm thinking possibly like 210, but I'm going I'm to leave my runners on just in, I mean, just in case. I mean, the runners. Mm. Nah, Joel, I just look at the price action. I do look at book map to see where orders are, but I'm a price, I'm a pure price action trader. Pure price action. I don't look at fair value gaps. I don't look at this. I don't look at gaps. I look at what price has done. I look at where support and resistance at. Like right now, price is coming up into this resistance. But I do look at book map to see where uh, people are putting their orders. You say you tried out the dom. So, like, honestly, I look at the dom and I'm like, honestly, I don't really understand it. Honestly, I really don't understand the dom. I mean, I have it on the on the on my chart because I know that people like to look at the dom. But how do you use this thing? It how do you use it? This is dom pro on book map. Oh, okay. I don't believe so. I don't think I have level two data. Says Dom is just like book map. Yeah. Oh, okay. You need level two data. Okay. Yeah. That's why I just look at, at book map. Yeah. I look at book map. I'm a visual learner. Like if, uh, I like to see the, the orders on the chart. I don't like looking at the Dom and Tom and time and sales and stuff like that. I don't like looking at stuff like that. Just look for the, where the big orders are named for that. Diversion and Delta. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so, so like the, the math stuff, honestly, I look at that. The one thing I don't necessarily care for is that it's not consistent. So I try not to incorporate that too much into my strategy. But I do look at the uh, Delta on book math. I do like to see if it's green or red. It kind of gives me confidence in my positions, even though I don't 100% understand it. But I, the way I use it is if majority of it's red and we're going up, then I know that this is a squeeze and people are selling and selling and selling, but price is getting squeezed up and vice versa. But I do think this 10 area, I wish I can actually decrease one of these. Actually, that's what I wanted it to do. Yeah, it's not going to, it's not going to let me do it. It's not going to let me split these orders, which is kind of. Mm hmm. Um, and this is not like uh like I said, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna let these run. I'm gonna let these run, man. I'm gonna let them run. But yeah, this yeah, this might actually be getting 
Can we get to 13? Can we get to 11? So I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to take this off at, I'm going to take this off at 10. And I'm going to leave this to run. I'm going to leave this to run. We can see if you can get a, a recovery. And then definitely, I think my uh, 520 spy calls are going to hit tomorrow. I think they're going to hit. Or actually, let me, because I mean, hold on. We, I actually, I, I didn't look at the job numbers. Let's actually look at that first before I start saying stuff like that. Let me actually look at it. Let's actually look at a spy chart. Actually, let's look at a spy chart. Mm, let's look at a spy chart. All right. 15 minute spy. Yeah, I think this get ran. I think this gets run. We're going to at least 518, 520 tomorrow. Sure. Mm. Let's let's actually look at this financial juice. Okay. Says Fed bargain says inflation data raises questions if we were seeing a shift. What happened to the uh because I'm pretty sure the jobs. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, I figured as much. Cause this is the only reason why we got this pump this morning. Jobs came in less than expected. That's why we got that pump. That's why we got that pump. I kind of figured that was the reason why. Yeah, right now it's the labor market. It's just the housing market and the labor market. And PPI coming in at expected, month over month came at expected. Uh, year over year came in a point, a percentage higher. Or year over year actually came in lower. So, hmm. oh, raw. Let's see if we can get our first target hit, though. Or this target hit. He says strong says I see divergence in Delta. Strong selling and passive buying. And passive buying, you mean that the stops are getting ran and sellers are becoming buyers? Mm -hmm. 
There we go, baby. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So we got a runner target hit. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'm fucking talking about, boo. That's what I'm talking about. We had a we had a rough start this morning, but shit, we got it back, boo. We got it back. We got it back, baby. We got it back. So let's see. I mean, the next level is at. Should have, where's the next level? The next level is at 224. Let's see if our actually let's see if we can get a 222 hit. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can get this magic number. I mean, I'm not gonna stay on stream. So, but hold on, hold on. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Give me a second.
All right, so we have, what, 16 points right now? Uh, yeah, I think that's a good trade, man. And we have 17 points on it. You know what? You know what? I'm going to give it to the, to the end of this candle. But all in all, this is a good trade, man. This is a good trade. Great trade. Great trade. Great trade. Great trade. Yeah, I think this might be it. Yeah, this is actually a good a good place to go short, actually. I might go short here. Actually, I'll, I'll probably go short here. Risk some of the profits. I might, I'll, I'll go short here. But uh, I'm going to spend uh, like five more minutes with you guys. I actually got something to do. So I'm probably going to have to actually start doing it, actually. All right, so I'm out of that trade. I'm only going to risk. Hmm. Yeah, I think this might be the end of the ride, guys. I think this might be the end of the ride. You definitely can see a pullback to like 207. Somewhere in this area. Possibly even further. All right, Gainway. Yeah, the Gainway definitely lives on the East Coast. You don't got too many Waffle Houses anywhere else.
All right, guys. Um, actually, I got to get to work. I just got something urgent that came up, and I have to work. So, uh, all in all, we had a rough start, but we came back, baby. We came back. Uh, we we came back. We didn't get tricked here. We didn't allow fair value gaps to dictate our trading. We allowed the price action to tell us that, hey, the bulls have yet to fail. They have not failed. And so I kept on going long. I went short here. I may be early. I did try a short here. And the reason why I'm trying to short here is because this is an area of resistance. I don't think this will be a reversal, but I'm probably looking for a scalp down. If I get stopped out, I get stopped out. But I am looking for a quick scalp, possibly back here to this area, if I'm lucky, right here, where there's support for them to continue to push price up higher. But I don't expect a reversal. But um, all in all, like I said, good trading day and uh, peace out. Gain weight. <laughs>